Hey everybody, Farmhouse Canadian Gamer here. Halloween is just half a month away and I figure why not set the mood with another zombie game. This is Zombie Panic in Wonderland and it's on the Wii. It's a Wii Wire title. I'm not sure if it's available on any anything else, but I'm going to play it on the Wii. So let's jump in and start. And uh, I'm just going to go down to a new game here. It gives you the option of story, arcade options, and ranking. Um, this stuff's pretty straightforward. Let's just go into the story. And uh, you get two un two characters unlocked right away. You have to unlock the rest, I do believe, as the story progresses. And uh, basically the story is, once upon a time, zombies. I mean, we can skip all this, because that's pretty much all it is. It's this girl, she goes into a store, realizes there's no one around, and all of a sudden, zombies just show up. And that's it. Then the game starts. So it is a first, well, it's a third person shooter, really. And uh, you don't actually, you, can't, you can move your character left and right, but not forward and backward at all. So that's kind of how the game goes. So here we go. We start off with with a uh, assault rifle, which pretty much has unlimited ammo. Now at first I thought all you were supposed to do was shoot the zombies, but you're actually supposed to, in the process, shoot everything there is to be shot. Which I thought is kind of weird. If you're going to this shop in this town that you always go to, you know, why are you, why are you blowing everything up? Wouldn't you try to salvage as much as you can, maybe for supplies? But no, let's just blow the shop windows apart, and that'll be it. Now you probably notice you get points and you get pickups uh, when you blow stuff up. You can swap out your pickups on the nunchuck by pressing the C button. Hold on, let me just wipe out some of these zombies a little bit before they start throwing stuff at me, because you only get three lives. You see in the top left there, I got three lives. So I'm going to press the C button real quick, and it'll switch me up to, uh, now I've got like a machine gun thing. You can do an awful lot more damage. And you're constantly getting pickups, but unfortunately the stuff doesn't last very long. Now if you can press the Z button, uh, sorry, Z button for the Americans who are about to comment on why I said Z there. I am Canadian, remember that, and we do say Z. But anyway, uh, you do like a jump, so you can jump out of the way. Which is good, because sometimes these zombies will throw stuff at you. And you get different zombies later on that'll throw a lot more- Ah! Whew, that was close. That scared the crap out of me. And then, you've got- you probably noticed there on the left there, I've got grenades. You use the A button to throw some grenades. Oh really, you actually shoot them out of a gun. You die. And let's open the mailbox. So you're probably noticing this game has really weird music. The game is just weird in general. I mean, it's a zombie game. Would you stop it? Pulled the sword out for a second there. Alright. Must blow up zombies. I get too busy talking and I'm not really playing the game properly, so... Here we go, we want to jump out of the way. And you basically just want to shoot everything. Here we go, we got ninja zombies. Down I go, I lost a life. Um, ninja zombies. Yeah, you want to shoot everything. And you'll see at the bottom there, it says clean up 55%. And basically, I'm just destroying everything in the town, including zombies. Including ninja zombies. Oh, I'm all out of... Uh, all out of grenades. Let's clear a path here. These guys are... The waves just never stop until the end of the level. But luckily you do get power-ups. Ooh, here we go. I got a flamethrower. Good times. Probably save that for a little bit. Yeah, the music is insane. It really doesn't fit with the rest of the game, with the exception of the fact that it is a Japanese-style game. Or anime-style game, I should say. Go back to my flamethrower here. Clean up shop here. You probably notice this little guy running around here. He's part of the story mode. And uh, at first I thought you were supposed to kill him, so I was trying to shoot him, but you don't you're not supposed to shoot him. He's just running around in despair. We got more ninja zombies here. Oh, I went down again! I didn't even do this bad the first time I ever played the game. Down I went again! guys are annoying. Must remember to learn to jump out of the way. Hopefully I can get some more grenades. Or something. And I'm dead! Oh no! Oh, no, I got one life left. 
One life left, this stupid skeleton. I'm getting close to the end. He's actually got like a boomerang thing. And he doesn't like to go down, that's for sure. There he goes. Nope, no, he's still alive. Oh no, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Nice big final zombie wave to finish me off. Hopefully I won't get hit by too much. Some pickups would be nice. There we go. I cleaned up the area. So that's all you got to do is you got to get down to 100% and then you can go on to the next part. And you can play two players and at any point in time someone else can jump in which would be the other player. Ugh, ugh, ugh. This guy's being chased by zombies. It's just kind of part of the story mode which really isn't much of a story at all but whatever. Yay, ugh. You saved me, ugh. This guy sounds like he's having difficulty trying to tell me what's going on. He keeps saying ugh like... Like, he's annoyed that I'm asking him what's going on. Ugh. Well, I don't really know what happened. Ugh. A week ago. Ugh. Like, I have to tell you this stuff? Like, seriously. Can't you just figure out that there's zombies everywhere and you have to kill them? So let's move on. Let's go into the next, uh, since I've only got one life left. Let's just kind of finish this up here. So what do I think of the game? Man, it is crazy. It is wacky and nuts. The music it does not fit with the rest of the game. I think it'd be... Pretty fun though if you had a second player. Because right now it's just it's a little too much. I need some pickups here because I have nothing. Don't get hit. Anyways, that is the game. It is completely nuts. It's completely insane. But you know what? It's actually kind of fun. In a weird, crazy kind of way. What was that? A tree? Insane, insane! Oh, all kinds of fun stuff I just got. You die. You guys die. I hate you ninja zombies. Man, I hate them so much. Die. The music is just so weird. Anyways, that's the game. Check it out. It's actually, uh... It's bizarre, but fun. For Farmhouse the Canadian Gamer, cheers. Ooh, that guy's crazy. 